I'm Dennis Ham. I teach at Creighton University. Now, how did my vocation uh, hatch? Well, it was a slow business. Uh, I went to St. Robert's grade school and uh, I loved what the nuns were able to give me. Um, I'm not one of those people who enjoys stand-up comedians making fun of, of Catholic grade school education of the 50s because it really worked for me. The uh, sisters would occasionally uh, pick out some of us and uh, suggest that we might be interested in the priesthood, that we'd, we'd make a good priest. Uh, I was always flattered to be told that, but I didn't take it very seriously because I didn't particularly uh, want to become a priest. I was a server, and uh, I, I liked to serve Mass. Uh, mass itself meant a lot to me when I went to it, but I never wanted to imitate the priest that I saw, so it never seemed it never was something that occupied my uh, daydreams like becoming a great architect or musician or athlete. The first time I really started thinking seriously about a religious vocation was uh, picking up a book that was lying around the house when I was around 15. It was really the first really adult book I ever read. It was Thomas Merton's uh, Seven Story Mountain. And for some reason this, this really got me involved uh, and I happened to be <laughs> reading it uh, on a trip to Europe, uh, reading it on the deck of the Queen Elizabeth, pretty romantic place to read. And uh, I was really taken with his search for the will of God. It really, uh, it really seemed to be worthwhile. I didn't know quite what that meant, but I realized that's what I wanted too. But I prayed right away that it wouldn't be to become a monk like Thomas Merton because that didn't appeal to me at all. Well, I went on to uh, Market High School and I met Jesuits there. And I, I liked what, what they were able to do for me. And I, I rather enjoyed those annual retreats that the Jesuits gave. They really spoke to me about uh, the way I'd find happiness by giving myself to something larger than myself and that the best thing to give myself to was uh, the cause of Christ. That made a lot of sense to me. But I knew I wasn't ready when I graduated from high school. So uh, I went on to Marquette University and it was there that I met uh, three men who really turned me on with their example. One was a philosophy teacher who really got me excited about thinking uh, about big questions, Father Jerry Smith. Another one was uh, the uh, dramatic director, Father John Walsh. I was in his plays, and I loved what he was able to introduce me to by way of imagining and, and uh, being creative in an art form. And then there was Father Bernard Cook, who really got me interested in theology. But I realized that I wasn't ready yet to join the Jesuits. They seemed like the best option to me, because I liked what these men did, but I, I realized I needed to grow up. So I uh, lived what I think is a fairly normal life of a college student in the 50s. I dated regularly, but never went steady, because in the back of my mind, I realized I was probably going to join the Jesuits when I graduated. So that's how life went. And those retreats, those annual retreats, continued to be uh, really important to me and the men that gave them, uh, modeled for me a great thing to do for other people. And yet I wasn't doing extra stuff. I wasn't going to daily mass. I didn't join a sodality. I guess I just lived a, a rather innocent and uh, small world college life. I was interested in music and theater and movies. Didn't pay much attention to current events. And then finally uh, decided I'd enter. Now this was all real private inside of me. I didn't talk it over with anybody. I didn't even talk it over with my parents. I, I think the first person I told that I'd really decided was uh, the mailman. The mailman said, <laughs> said, well, what are you doing this summer? I said, well, I think I'm going to join the Jesuits. 
And then I realized, my God, I'm talking to the mailman about this important decision. I better tell my folks. So I did. And uh, well, they were, uh, my mother was quite pleased. My dad was uh, very thoughtful. He came to my bedroom a little later the, the evening. I told him and he said, you know, uh, I work with these guys at Marquette University. Some of them are kind of strange birds. I said, well, Dad, I'll, I'll try not to be one of the strange ones because the ones I <laughs> really know, I'd like to be like them. And, uh, and that was it. I, uh, I went through the process of uh, application. And when I was accepted, I figured that's it. They'll tell me if they don't want me, but I don't have to decide anymore. Uh, this looks like what I want to do. And as a matter of fact, it has turned out to be uh, a real fulfillment. Full of surprises, of course. The church has changed over the, this more than half century that I've been a member of the Society of Jesus. But it's been a great place to be in the changing church because I was informed all along why the changes were happening and the Society of Jesus is adapting well to the changing church. And I can't imagine a better place to be now in the middle of uh, what have to ha are surely troubled times, very challenging times. I can't imagine a better place to be though to try to use my talents. And that briefly is the short story, the short version of my uh, vocation story.